Hi, I'm Craig Cameron, and on today's show, we're going to talk about lateral movement, side pass, leg yield, what they are, how to develop it, and how to use it to enhance your horsemanship. That's all coming up next on Ride Smart. You know, side passing is one of the best things that you can teach your horse. One reason it's so good is you're controlling all components of the horse. That'd be head, neck, shoulder, rib cage, and hind quarters, and just like always, right down to those feet. You know, what's so good about that side pass? Boy, it's going to help you in almost all your maneuvers because, again, you're controlling the whole horse. So how's it going to start? And what the heck is a side pass anyway? A side pass is when the horse is moving exactly sideways. You know, they don't use that a lot, like in English or dressage. They're always moving forward Why? while they're moving laterally. And that maneuver is called a leg yield. So they're somewhat similar. But in Western riding, we use that side pass quite a bit so we can get up, open and close gates. You might want to get up next to the pickup, go up to next to the mailbox. There'd be a lot of reasons. Go pick your rope up off of something, get a tool. So we use the side pass quite a bit. I think the leg yield, that's moving laterally while you're also going forward, is a lot more natural to the horse. You know, this is going to help me later on in my maneuvers, like my spins, lots of different things like that. And I'm going to show you how to put that together. So how's it going to start? You know, amazingly, it's going to start like just about everything else. Flexibility. Flexibility is going to give you position. Position's going to give you that control that you need to move this horse around. It's going to be about giving and taking, yielding the pressure with hands, bits, legs, reins, spurs, or whether I'm on the ground or up on this horse's back. So let's get started and see if we can put this to use and then show how we're gonna use it to develop the handiness of this horse. So here I go. Same deal, I'm gonna to get to where I can bend this horse just like this. This is that essential ingredient, which is the basic and the foundation. Make sure your horse is soft and that he's gonna be just really good about giving and yielding the pressure with his head, with his face. There's that vertical position. And recognize I'm using that snaffle bit. I go back to that a lot of times as I'm gonna teach my horse some of these basic maneuvers. But watch, anytime you bend a horse this much, what that really gives you control of are those hind quarters. You know, watch, I always bend a horse like this. Don't start moving that hind quarter till you're ready or every time you bend him, he's gonna start walking around. Gotta be able to move that hind quarter to side pass this horse. Watch, when I side pass him, watch, I'm gonna look at the hind quarter and then I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna push this horse around. Watch that spur. It's a give and take motion as I walk the hind end around the front end. Remember, never dwell on those cues. And, and just like everything else, if I do it on one side, better darn sure do it on the other because I'm gonna wanna be able to side pass this horse both directions, so here. And if he walks forward, just pick up on that right rein and hold that front end in place. And there's that give and take. And rem remember, I'm not stabbing or jabbing this horse. It's just push and release, pressure and release. Now, I got the hind end moving around just the way I need it to. If you're gonna side pass this horse, you're gonna have to also be able to move that front end. You know, anytime I move the front end of the horse, something that's fundamental and really important to understand is that you do not wanna overbend this horse. If you overbend him, you're just gonna move the hind quarters. So keep that neck straight and watch. I'm gonna lead out slightly to the left, push with my outside rein and push with my outside leg. Remember, if I'm doing something with my hands, certainly want to do something with my legs, about 50-50. We've covered a lot of that on some of the other shows. So watch, I'm gonna just get a step at a time and I'll just push that horse over and release, just like so. And watch, I'm gonna go the other way and push him. And now, now I'm getting what? Head, neck, and shoulder. And I'm gonna push him around a step at a time, a step at a time, a step at a time, just like so. 
If you'll go slow, you can get this going for you. And later on, all this is gonna help you to develop that handle on this horse. Stops, backs, turns, and spins. So here I come now, going to the left. Watch, lead slightly out with my right rein. Push with the left rein, left leg. Watch that left leg. When those feet move, I take that spur off. Put it back on and push with that outside rein. Now all I gotta do is put the components together to get my horse moving laterally. So watch this, I'm gonna move the hind quarter here, just like that, step that over, step it over here, and just get this horse pushing away, just like so. Just get a step at a time. Now, what a lot of people happen is they'll get the front end going and they won't have the hind end. When that happens, just put your leg back further to push the hind quarter forward to push the front end. And when he's correct, put your leg right in the middle. So watch this horse. I'll get the front end here. Watch. Now I'll get the hand in here. I can get the front end here. Get the hand in here. And then when he gets that understanding, then I can just push the whole horse. And it's good to kind of look where you're going. When you start this going really good, guys, don't over bend your horse. I think that's a classic mistake. Try to keep his neck very straight and then your horse is gonna be much more advanced. So here we go now. I'm pushing, I'm leaning to the left. Watch, puts my left leg on, takes my right leg off. I'm leaning to the left and I'm riding the outside of my horse. So I'm gonna, I'm leaning to the left, moving my horse to the right and watch that give and take. And watch, I'm gonna look the direction I'm going. And here, again, I'm exaggerated, and look how straight I'm keeping my horse's neck. Here, push and release. And just get a little step at a time. So here I go here, I'm gonna push him and release him, and push him and release him, and push him and release him. Sometimes I'll lift my right hand, see, to lift that right shoulder, because I'm going to the left, and I'll direct him with the left hand. So watch, I'm gonna go the opposite way, so I'm gonna lead him out with my right hand, push him with my left hand. This one shows him which way I'm going. This one's pushing him over here, here, and lead this horse out and help him. Watch, I need to straighten him out and move that hind quarter around, just like so. And little by little, step by step, I'm gonna get this horse better and better and better. Boy, and that's gonna be real simple. Remember, in the beginning, just try to get a step at a time. And, and when you do, this horse is gonna learn. So watch, in the beginning, it'll just be one step, release. Good boy. One step, push him and release him. And when if he doesn't respond, you know how I'm pushing, pressing, squeezing. If he didn't respond, I might bump him. Boy, you get that one step, be sure and release. So I push him and release him. Push him and release him. And this is my foundation. This is my fundamental to get things going. Now when we come back, we're gonna liven it up, really put him on the rail. Uh, not only use just the side pass, but we're also gonna work on the leg yield. Hey, that's coming up next on Ride Smart. Your tag tip for today, the Honda knot. You know, I keep saying the more knots you know, the better hand you are. And you never know when you're gonna need one of these knots. This is a simple knot and you can use it all the time. All right, I'm gonna take my rope like so, bring it through like this, just as if I'm starting to tie a granny knot. Then I'm gonna take this part, push it down, and bring this one right back through like this. Now feed this one back, nice and easy, keep it even, and look, look at the advantage in this knot is that hole is right dead center. Now, if you need to lash something down, like hauling some hay in the back of your pickup, or on the back of your horse, or just need to build a Honda in your rope, this is the knot that you're gonna use. Hey, knots are fun, and don't forget to learn them. You gotta keep practicing. That's your tack tip for today, and don't forget, keep riding smart. And now back to Ride Smart with Craig Cameron. All right, we've laid our foundation. Now let's really begin to put it to work. You know, we talked about that flexibility. And you know, a lot of times I just start slow with a horse and I can use a little cone like this. And remember when you're side passing in the beginning, you're gonna tip the nose away from the direction that you're going. So here's a really neat exercise to start. 
Watch, we can use this cone and walk around it, watch, and I'm gonna tip this horse's head away from the direction he's going. And what am I doing here? I'm leading with that shoulder. I'm getting him to get ready for a really good little side pass or leg yield, and I'm tipping that shoulder. And watch, when I go to this other cone, watch, that's when I'm gonna get my leg yield or my side pass. So watch, instead of going around the cone, now I'm gonna just lead him right over here right over here to my left, and then driving forward. Now, I'm gonna tip that nose away from the direction I'm going again, and just lead with that shoulder. And I just start at a walk, and when he gets real good, then maybe I could bump it up to a trot as I develop and progress my horse. Watch, here comes the side pass. Here, just push the horse, push the horse, push the course, and then head right over to this cone. Now watch, I'm gonna pick up the pace now here, and I'm gonna go to my trot. And watch, I'm just holding this horse real soft in my hands, and I'm gonna tip that nose away from the direction I'm going. Tipping that nose away, and then just get that side pass right there, that leg yield here. Now, I'm gonna tip the nose away from the direction I'm going. And if you notice, I'm just getting a step or two. That's really all I need in the beginning. This is a counter bend or a counter arc, moving right into a little leg yield there. Good, and that just positions him perfect to go to the left. This time I'll keep his nose to the left, and then I'm gonna bring it right back to the right and counter arc my horse and get ready for the side pass or the leg yield this way. Boy, and that got prettier, and that's a perfect position down the trail for a lead departure. Watch, I'll let his nose stay to the right this time, hold him down, and watch, all of a sudden I'm gonna tip that nose to the left and push my horse to the right here just like this perfect position for a lead departure to the left and all of a sudden there it is and that horse is just in perfect position to make the transition so that's one way you can really begin to use your side pass and your leg yield to help develop what a lead departure or uh, again perfect canter departures on the correct lead by being able to tip that nose right tip that nose left control the whole body and just get make it easy for this horse to depart and uh, again we want to just make everything as simple as we can for the horse now watch this now i'm going to use my cones here i'm up next to this fence like so and that this fence is going to kind of hold me in place as I try to move laterally or sideways. This will be more like a true side pass. So I got a little something to work with. This fence keeps me from going forward and the cones show me where I need to be. Remember, don't overbend this horse. Watch, I'm leaning to the right, pushing him to the left, nose to the right, body to the left, and do not overbend this horse. Watch, I could put that leg back and get that, get that uh, hip over just a little bit as I push my horse through. And every time I, I get a little something from my horse, I wanna be sure and stop, pet him and reward him, and, and let him know that he's doing the right thing. So here, I got a little barrier that helps me to develop this as I get things going. So watch, we're gonna step in here this time, lean to the left, tip the nose to the left, move the body to the right. Look, I'm looking where I'm going. I'm pushing with that outside leg, and I wanna just ease my horse across here and let him find what it is that I want, what it is that I don't want, just like so. Perfect, now let him stop, and I can reward my horse. Now, if I turn my horse this way now, look, now this will be harder because I don't have that fence blocking me, but at least he can see those cones as I slowly develop this lateral movement with my horse. So again, I push him around, push him here, move that hip over a little further, try to keep this horse real straight, and I want to look where I'm going, take the right leg off, put the left leg on. Woo. And the straighter I get him, the more advanced this horse is going to be. So now I'm going to push him this way and just ease this horse this direction. Ease this horse this direction. And boy, that's working really nice for me as I just push my horse around and allow him to find himself and figure out what it is that I want, what it is that I don't want. So if you would take your time, it's gonna make things really simple for you. And don't forget, it's gonna come from that foundation work that we develop. And, and you wanna just take your time, go real slow as you begin to put this together for yourself and for your horse. Now, how can a guy use this? Now, I'll just ease up to this gate. I got a gate right here. And 
There's all different ways to open the gate, but being able to move this horse laterally is gonna be really important for me. So watch, here's my gate right here. So I could, I could go about it several different ways. Watch me push the hind in around. Watch, I'm gonna bend my horse and push the hind quarter around. And I'm gonna start to position my horse. Now's a nice time to what? Side pass him to the gate. When you get up to these gates, you gotta stop right here. If you start kind of kicking on your horse and as soon as you get up the gate, the first thing you do is, is start uh, trying to open the gate, then pretty soon it just becomes a battle and he never finds a resting or a sweet spot. So a lot of times I get up to my gate and I'll just sit here. I'll rattle that gate, make sure that he's okay about it. Now I'm gonna open my latch like this. Now I could push that gate away from me or I could bring the gate to me. If I bring the gate to me, what? That gate's gonna make him do what? Side pass again. So watch, I'll use the gate to side pass my horse now. And I'm gonna use my cues as well. I'm gonna push my horse over, push him over. Now come the hind quarters here, and I'm gonna ease through that gate real slow. And watch, I'm gonna push the hips over again, just like so. Bring that gate with me and find my horse. Now I need to side pass him back to the left and position up. I want that hip over just a hair. Really get my horse square. And don't forget to find that stop again with your horse. Give him some time. Now I'll latch the gate. And when you latch that gate, don't immediately ride off or that's what he's gonna start thinking about doing all the time. So here I am again. Now I wanna come up to the gate this time here. And this time why don't we push the gate away from me and see if we can do a different style. So I'm gonna go right here and push my horse around the gate. And now I'm gonna come around this way here and I'm gonna side pass again to my right and let this horse kind of close that gate and that's a nice little side pass that helped me open and close these gates. I'm in no rush, I'm in no hurry to leave here and let this horse find that sweet spot as I teach him about opening and closing that gate with that side pass. So we're putting this stuff together all the time. You know, uh, you gotta remember like that counter bend, moving that horse laterally is gonna help me in a lot of my maneuvers. See, once I can bend this horse to the left here and push him sideways, you think about a spin or a turnaround is nothing more than what? About half of a side pass. So again, I'm pushing my horse laterally, pushing him laterally, and watch me just bring the nose and say, how about just moving the front end? How about just moving the front end? And then I'd walk him forward real soft again, just like this, and I'd tip him to the left, side pass him to the right, and then bring that nose around real soft again. Bring it real soft. Now I'm kind of pushing this horse around, almost in a lateral movement. I wait on that horse, wait on that horse, and when I bring, here's that side pass, here it is. And watch what happens when I bring that nose right on through, and I say, now just move half your body. Now all you gotta do is move half your body. And then I'll walk this horse forward again. Sometimes I'll pick up the trot, watch this lateral movement here, and I'm gonna push my horse this way, here. And now I'm gonna push my horse laterally this way, here. Now I'm gonna push my horse laterally this way, like so. I'm gonna push my horse laterally this way, like so. So all the time, watch, I'll pick up a little trot, do the same thing, lateral, lateral. And all the time, I'm developing straightness and understanding and a lot of want to with this horse with that good lateral movement. You know, lateral movement. Hey, the better he does it, the better he's gonna do just about everything else that you ask him to do. Craig Cameron Horsemanship Clinics at the Doublehorn Ranch are designed to fit each rider's individual needs. Five different round pins, corrals, arenas, and the original extreme cowboy race course make great horses and riders. I learned more in three days than I have in the first 35 years I rode a horse. It was like having a private lesson. Even though it was a group, it was like having a private lesson. Yeah, you'll wear out the Wrangler in your jeans, I tell you. <laughs> Advance your horsemanship and come ride like a champion with me at the Double Horn Ranch. On today's show, all about side passing and leg yielding. Remember how we started? It's all about flexibility, which gives us position and control. Then we move the front end, then we move the hind end, then we begin to put it together just a step at a time to push that horse around. Well, after that, we talked about just counter arcing, which gave us a lot of control. We went around the cones, then side pass to set up for the next one. Hey, perfect stuff 
for lead departures. Then after that, just weave those cones back and forth. And don't forget how we move laterally on the fence, slow but sure. Remember, these maneuvers can help you develop your horse down the trail and give you a handier, more workable horse. Hey, we'll see you next time on Ride Smart.